we can start by going to file and then new file and then R markdown and then you can select from template and the first one that you see is flex dashboard so you can say OK so let's give a title it also has default output format so let me add few things here let's change default orientation to rows we can also add social so it could be Twitter Facebook and also you can have menu after that we have a R chunk here it includes a library flex dashboard I'm going to add some more libraries so this chunk has uh, all the libraries you can see that it starts with uh, these three symbols and then within these curly brackets uh, we have R and then this chunk also ends with these three symbols so if you just want to run this whole part you can go on the right side and you can see this uh, play button and that will only run this particular chunk from line 11 to line 21 so let's add some more chunks so here I'm going to read the data file into data so this line will read and then I can put those three symbols at the end which will complete this one more chunk so if we run this here you can see this data has been read if you want to know the structure of the data we can run str and data so we have a vehicle ID just one two three four FM for failure month this is the mileage at which car failed LH is labor hours so it took 1.1 hours to repair this car and we have LC labor cost material cost is uh, $697 and state is in which state this failure occurred so let me add one more chunk here where I am defining my colors that I may use later on I want to call first page as interactive data visualization to indicate that uh, this is the title for my dashboard page I'm going to use this symbol so basically it is equal sign so let's say on this first page I want some items to be in a row so we can say row this single dashed line to indicate that this is going to be a row and then I can give a title I'm going to use three hash symbols and call this as car failure analysis so let's create a value box using R chunk and have this value box so let's paste a title called failure comma enter and let's have color equals warning and then complete this chunk next I'm going to have another title and our R chunk is going to be and I'm going to use this length of the data set and within data we can pick up any variable so it will just count how many rows are there so let's pick up state and we can also make use of icon so I'm going to say FA user and then complete this chunk next let's have a title with the two stars labor cost so I'm going to use gauge and then we want to round we'll calculate mean of data dollar sign and for labor cost we have LC suppose we want digits to be just two 
and we want minimum to be 0 and a maximum of 350 and then we can also use gauge sectors so let's uh, define success as any number between 0 and 150 dollars warning as any number between 150 and let's use 240 and danger which means the cost has increased uh, significantly is anywhere from 240 to 350 and for these three success warning and danger we'll use these colors so success will be in green color yellow will indicate warning and red will indicate danger and then we can complete this chunk so to run this i'm going to run this here so these are digits are part of rounding so we should have used a bracket here so now if you run this so you get a plot something like this because the number 242.92 is in the danger zone so that's why we see red color now let's have another title so i'm going to use value box sum of data and state to equal sign and ma and then we can have a comma and we can use an icon here so let's use building we can also get one for california let's go with texas next and the last one is florida so for the time being i'm going to just delete everything below this and uh, let's save this file so before we can create a html dashboard we have to save this file so i'm going to go to this uh, knit and there's a drop down here next to it and the first item is knit to flex dashboard so click on that so we are getting error in line 5 maybe we can correct it later but i'm going to remove this line 5 and then knit to flex dashboard and this gives us our partially completed uh, dashboard so we have only done first row so next we are going to add some plots to this add another row now below whatever we have created so far and we'll use single dashed line to indicate that this is going to be a new row so we are going to create a plot and we'll store that information in p1 our data is data and then we pipe this to the next line so we group by state and now i'm going to use plotly which will give us a interactive bar plot so x variable is going to be state and y variable is going to be count so this count is this count here and we can color these bars let's use a uh, different colors using rainbow and then we can have just p1 which will plot this plot so let's do 51 so this is the plot we get interactive plot and uh, uh, to keep it simple we can also let's use blue next uh, graph is for top states i'm going to only include uh, failures that are more than 50 and here we are actually creating a pie chart and if we try to plot all 50 states it's going to be very crowded So we add a pie chart and we can also define that the hole within the pie chart is about 0.4, 40%. And this will close the chunk. 
so we get a pie chart if you run this so this hole here is 0.4 so if you increase or decrease obviously this will change so let's say we keep this 0.2 uh, and run this chunk again you can see now it is smaller failure month versus failure mileage So if I run this chunk, so this gives a bar plot. So next uh, we want a scatter plot. So this will give us a fitted line. And then let's go for a box plot. So let's use uh, ggviz here. Let me also add this in the library. So this is as per state. And let's plot uh, labor cost. So now if we knit this whole thing. So this is how it is going to look like. Probably we can have these charts in two different rows. And we can run this again. So this is what we get. So this looks uh, at least better than the first one because earlier we had everything in one row and it was not clear. And we'll call this as map. I'm using equal to sign to get these double lines. So let's store within car. We have data. So this is going to find out total number of failures and store that in car. So now if you run this and see what is inside car. This car has uh, two columns, one is state, other is total. But for plotting a geographic uh, plot, we need complete names and not these acronyms. So for that, I'm going to use car dollar sign state. And there is a function called ABB. So abbreviation to state. And this is in open intro package, car dollar sign state. Now, if you run this and again run car, so now you can see the names are complete here. So now we can use high chart. We can give a title. US Geo JSON and our information is stored in car name. We can say state. I'm using this name here. Value is total. So this should be whatever you have here second column join by w o e name so we are using a uh, data in high charter package and this w o e stands for where in world so this information is combined with the data that we are providing to create a chart so now let's uh, knit this file and see how it looks Okay, so there is an error in line and basically join by. So this uh, join by here B has to be capital. So let's run this again. So this was the first page and now you see there is another page called map and this is an interactive map. So you can So now let's look at uh, the third page and see how it looks. And in fact, you can open this dashboard in browser because this is HTML. And then you can also like uh, control the size using 
control plus or control minus to reduce or increase so it has a uh, like default size is 25 entries you can always change it to some other number so this table provides uh, multiple ways to narrow down on specific uh, data and render name we can say heat map so now if we run this we'll have another page with the pivot table so now we have this fourth page in the dashboard and the default values that we provided are indicated so this is state and this is failure month and we can see there is a heat map So data orientation is going to be columns that for the column we want data width to be of specific size so let's go for 100 and then I'm adding uh, one more column so this length uh, basically captures how many failures and then reports a number and then we can also have another page so in fact uh, one can add anything about the report like uh, who did it and whether it was uh, confidential so some information about the report can be added just as a text so it has like one two three four five and six so it has six pages and we had added a summary report which appears here the column information that we used did not activate so let's go back and correct it okay so now you can see this is oriented uh, in a column format so these value boxes are in one column and then information about uh, the report is in the second column but we still don't have these numbers so let's correct that so actually here we want symbols that we use for creating uh, R chunks and not quotes So now we can knit HTML dashboard. So now you can see these numbers are automatically generated and then it gives you option to share on Twitter or Facebook or any other way you like. And at the top you can also include your source code by saying source underscore code colon embed. And you can see at the end you also have source code so whatever code we have used you can easily access this copy this and run modify in R